Hey y'all. So we're going to see what does the collective need to be aware of when it comes to these soulless beings. Yeah, these zombie assholes. Okay, these karmics. Today is the uh, new moon. So we're going to see what is it that they're doing today because we know. <laughs> look, we got monitoring spirits. Okay, so it says here, monitoring spirits were sent towards you. These are demons that monitor your activity. They are watching your movements to make sure that you never progress in life. Or they're just trying to see, you know, what's going on, what you're doing, if the voodoo's working. All right. So you could be seeing um, like a lot of flies for some of y'all in your house out of nowhere. Okay. So that could be that. Just cleanse your home. Okay. And we have here that what they're trying to do is that they're trying to make you feel uh, down. You know, they want you mentally and physically sick. They want to put you in a low vibrational state. When they do this, this, this makes you more susceptible to the dark magic that is being done. So spirit is saying, continue to raise your vibration, continue to go out in nature, continue to, uh, you know, go take a walk, cleanse your energy, take your salt baths. Okay. Uh, if you don't take, uh, if you cannot take like a salt bath, if you cannot soak or you cannot do that every day, you know, you got shit to do, whatever, whatever. You could take a salt shower. Okay. Get some Epsom salt, put that shit in your hand. You're going to go in the shower and you're going to visualize. All right. I know this sounds simple, but this is something that works. And I feel like Spirit wants me to tell you. So you're going to visualize yourself. You're going to take the salt. You're going to put it from the top, from your crown, all the way down. Okay. From the tuta <laughs> to the ruta. Okay. So you're going to start cleansing. You're going to take the salt and you're going to put it over your crown. You're going to take the salt. You're going to put it over your third eye. You're going to take the, the salt. You're going to put it over your throat chakra you're gonna take the soul you're gonna rub it over your heart chakra then your solar plexus chakra your uh sacral chakra and your root chakra which is at the base of your spine okay that's something that i've been uh led to do something so simple and it's working okay so just use that that way to cleanse yourself okay if you don't want to you know soak in a salt bath or in a spiritual bath you could just do that by cleansing cleansing okay you're cleansing your your chakras like that okay because they're trying to lower your vibration they're trying to attack your chakras you know so you gotta just you know just keep on cleansing 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 okay transmuting the energy okay so whoever casts spells or plotted against a pure-hearted soul like you will reap what they have sold so everybody's saying they're getting their karma all right don't worry about justice it's, it's coming okay tell me more they wanted you isolated. They wanted you away from everybody that you love, you know, friends, family. Okay. They wanted you just basically isolated again to, for you to feel sad, feel down, feel depressed, uh, feel trapped, you know, feel hopeless. That's the type of energy that they were trying to, uh, project into your life. Let's see what else. Yeah, we have group effort. So it was definitely a coven, a group of witches and warlocks. Okay. It could be a family of people doing this. Yeah, they also tried to attack your 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 weight. Okay, they was doing spells. Again, you know, if they if they wanted you to be down, so they was probably attacking you to you know to be overweight. Okay, or underweight. You know, take it how it resonates for your situation. All right, but they were trying to attack your health as well. And spirit is saying, time's up. You know, you you bitches had enough. All right, it's enough of this shit. <laughs> it's time for judgment now, okay? They could have been trying to harness your energy while you're sleeping as well for some of y'all, okay? You've been led to wear a bonnet, to wear a scarf, to wear, uh, like we said earlier, a hat. <laughs> when you go out or, you know, when you go to sleep, make sure that you, you're covering your crown, okay? A do-rag, whatever, okay? Tell me more Holy Spirit. And this is why, because they've been trying to harness your energy while you're sleeping. All right, Spirit is saying you are blessed and highly favored. Whatever they're doing going to work, you are the bait. <laughs> this was all set up, a setup here for them to attack you, and, and now they're going to get their karma. All right, and look, they're intimidated by your growth and determination. They cannot believe it that you are determined and you just keep going, okay, because they've been working together. They need more than one person to try to attack you, and it ain't working. And this is why, because you come... From a royal lineage, okay? Some of y'all are familiar with the Egyptian bloodline that you have here. They tried to steal your uh, ancestral inheritance. And this resulted in them cursing their entire bloodline from trying to steal 
from you, okay? These are the worst type of thieves that there is, all right? All thieves are bad, but these are the ones doing it in the spiritual, and that shit is fucking wild. All right, let's pull from this pot of cards. Holy Spirit, tell me more. What does the collective need to be aware of? Oh, this card don't even belong here. Oh, but here we go. This is what they was doing, though. All right, you are the star. They was trying to suppress you, okay? They wanted you down again, okay? Hands unworthy. They was trying to keep you like this, scared, stuck. Again, in a low vibrational state. That's what Spirit is saying. Continue to be positive, optimistic. Love love yourself. Love the you know everything about life. All right. You're here, you're alive, and you are these people's karma. See what I'm saying? Be happy. <laughs> All right. Their shit stops with you. They've been doing this with other low vibrational people like themselves, and it's been working, but it's not gonna work with you. Oh my goodness. For so some of y'all. You was around this type of person and they was putting their unborn babies, all right? Some of y'all was dealing with a karmic masculine and he was putting his sperm in your food. And for some of y'all, it was a female. She was putting her hair, her urine, her period blood in your food, okay? I know that's disgusting, but this will be going on out here in these streets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's to bind you. Okay, for some of y'all, they was doing something to bind you. Okay, so stay woke, like it says here. Because, yeah, we got here again, two people, more than one person that was uh, helping this person do this. And you defeated them. All right, whatever they try to send to you, you defeated this person. We have here as being returned to sender. Here's your confirmation. Okay, it ain't, it ain't working. Okay, we got the, the, you defeated the dark practitioner that they went to. All right, and look, I said to cleanse your chakras, right? And we have here solar plexus chakra. They don't want you to heal, stand in your power. They don't want you to be confident. They didn't want you to be in a low vibrational. They wanted you to be in a low vibrational state. Again, they wanted you to be insecure. See what I'm saying? So that's what I was saying. I was feeling like I had to tell somebody to do that. Cleanse your chakras every day. Just do that, okay? So let's pull some cards from here to see who's involved here. All right, Holy Spirit. Who's involved in this? Remember, it's a collective reading. Take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't because it's for somebody else. All right? Let's see, Holy Spirit. Who does the collective need to be aware of? All right, we have here somebody who's emotionally immature. Emotionally unavailable, childish. We have somebody's male cousin. Somebody is uh, 22 to 33 years old. Somebody's a teacher. I said something earlier about somebody who works out of school, so I don't know. All right, we have here uh, somebody that maybe you was dating, okay? And again, maybe they was emotionally immature, they was childish. Somebody's ex, all right? So jail visit, somebody you went to see at, at, at prison in jail. Somebody who got locked up before. Okay, we have here... Uh, <laughs> Your brother's dusty, ugly hoe is involved in this shit, okay? And the reason I wrote so much is because, yeah, I, I could relate to this card, okay? So there's an ugly, dusty bitch that is uh, doing this shit, all right? <laughs> you know who you are, bitch. You must be watching if you're coming out in, in, in this energy, bitch. All right, let's see what else. Yeah, the, the fucking ops, bro. You see what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> the ops is getting defeated. Okay, yeah, this fucking Jezebel, chameleon, bitch, you know, pretending that she was, you know, somebody's wifey. And no, bitch, you a fucking hoe. You a fucking Jezebel. You a fucking, you a fucking karmic, bitch. Exactly. Somebody's wifey. Somebody, you know, acting like you was wife material. Spirit is coming for you right now, bitch. I know you is watching. Let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. So this bitch was sending spells, you know? See what I'm saying? Dumbass. Exactly. And it got blocked. Fucking dumb bitch. Yo, this is so funny. Yo, spirit is coming for you, girl. <laughs> y'all, this is this is a, a, a message for me, y'all, because it, it, spirit must want me to expose you. If you coming out so clearly right now that you got blocked, you were sending spells to me, you dusty bitch. You a dusty bitch, and you mad because I was looking out for my brother, and I told him the truth about who you was, you dumb bitch, and you were sending spells towards me, Penelope, you dumbass bitch. <laughs> oh, my God, this is so funny. The ops, bro. <laughs> what I said earlier, you don't, you don't want to be my op, bitch. This is not what you want, hoe. 
this is not what you want. Yeah, you was attacking my occupation, my tarot business. You was mad because I was, ex I was exposing you to my brother. <laughs> and now you mad. You try to send spells towards me. Ha! <laughs> and it's getting sent right back to you, ho. Oh, I'm getting hype right now. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, you were sending attacks towards my work. I'm sending y'all. I already knew this, y'all. That's why I'm getting hype right now because it's confirmation. All right. All right. So we have somebody toxic grandma is involved. Somebody who's a fuck boy. All right. Somebody baby daddy. Tell me more. All right. We have an older male. Somebody stepson. And we have a crooked uh, Babalao Santero, a priest. Okay, so somebody went to a Babalao. Somebody went um, to get some type of work done. All right, this is not no more of this bitch energy. We we ju we jumping into another energy now. All right, somebody was dealing with a karmic who was a karmic fuckboy who was trying to you know block you, an older male. He didn't want you to move forward. He wanted to isolate you, whatever. And we have here somebody's stepson was even on some bullshit. So take this how it resonates for you. All right, somebody's life partner, somebody's husband, wife. All right, and you know, they went to some some type of priest here to do this shit. All right, so, whew. Oh, my goodness. Let me pull some cards from here. That is crazy. I try not to, you know, put my personal business in the readings, you know. Just try, just try to stick to it. But Spirit is like, nah, we're going to expose this little bitch real quick. Because... Yo, these cards came out so clear. <laughs> Bitch, you stupid. <laughs> I'm going to look out for my family, all right? I don't give a fuck, bitch. You mad that I expose you and told him that you was trying to do voodoo on him to lock him down. And everybody in my family was like wondering, why this ugly ass bitch, how she got my brother? <laughs> Listen, it was because she was doing love spells and she was doing all the crazy shit. And listen, he came to me for guidance. I told him this was going on. You got to let go of this karmic energy. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you want to be able to move forward. And this bitch got mad that I said that. Like, it is what it is, ho. And she started attacking me. And she's been attacking joints and bones. Oh, my goodness, girl. You wildin'. You are wildin'. Confusers are within reach. <laughs> Yeah, they tried to sacrifice somebody for money. I don't know. This is the same energy, but they wallet. Yeah, they got busted. I'm telling you. Return to sender. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. This is funny. I'm telling y'all, we be, we be serving karma to these people. We don't even be knowing how, how we going to serve it to them. But look, like this, all these connections. And it's like, bang, I met you to serve you karma, bitch, in the long run. All right, they had a meeting about you. Okay, I think this came out in the last reading, too. They can't, that they can't sacrifice you, all right? And they, they was depending on this, all right? And this person is somebody who's dependent, you know, on voodoo, to steal from people. Yeah, look, we got family, all right? This whole family of people that be doing this shit. And we have here a water sign male. A Cancer Scorpio Pisces is involved in this. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. We have here a new moon energy. So, yeah, they're going to try to do something again with this new moon, and it's over, all right? For some of y'all, you was a gift from God and they fumbled you, okay? And some of y'all, they wanted you locked up and homeless. Yeah, they was attacking our stability. Yeah, they wanted to dominate, you know, so they could be able to siphon, okay? Siphon our energy and steal our blessings. And for some of y'all, we have here a military person or a military wife is involved here. All right, yeah, they were strategizing and now they're trying to undo the spells. The spirit is saying, it's too late, bitch. Now you're going to pay for what you have done. So stay woke, <laughs> stay woke because it's coming in, baby. All right. And it's coming in now. I have here Aquarius season could be significant. Okay. You somebody who has integrity and morals and they fucked up playing with you. Like we saw from the beginning, a pure hearted person, like you, <laughs> you just doing your job. All right. You just out here trying to help people. All right. It is what it is. They're going to reap what they have. sold. let me get one more and we'll close it out. For some of y'all, I had to make you uncomfortable. Otherwise, you would have never moved. All right? The situation, Spirit say, is saying they need, that you needed to get out of it. All right? We have here, they depleted their energy. All right? They can't fuck with you. Okay? Stay woke.